there was a cloud that he created immediately after the NFC Championship game regarding his future in Green Bay. And I was told at the time that this was all about Rodgers wanting a new contract, not that he necessarily wants more money, Shereen, but that he wants the kind of contract that will bind the Packers to him and him to the Packers for the next two or three years. The way it is now at this stage of the deal, it's a year-to-year Packers option. They can walk away at any time. He won the MVP last year. They're bringing him back this year. If he has a bad year this year, they can shift to Jordan Love next year. I think he wants the security that would come along with a new contract. Mike Silver of NFL Network, the Cal Connection, helps from time to time, reports that Aaron Rodgers, obviously something he got straight from Rodgers himself, is talking to the Packers about a renegotiation of the contract to free up cap space. Now, if it's a simple restructuring, you don't need to have a negotiation. You take whatever he's due to make this year, you reduce his compensation to $1 million and change, the rest of it gets converted to a signing bonus and spread out over multiple years, maybe throw a voidable year or two on the back end, easy to do. If there's a negotiation, that means there's something more substantial than that. And if I'm Rodgers, I may want more money. I may want, I definitely want, I know I want a guarantee, a guaranteed salary this year and next year. Minimum. I want to know that I'm here the next two years. I don't want to be thinking about this Jordan Love nonsense every day, every practice, every game that, that I wondering if this is my last season as the starter. And am I going to, am I going to have to find another team next year? That's what I think he deserves. For being the MVP, and I think that's what he reasonably should want, Shereen. Well, Mike, the Packers have signed no free agents from outside the organization, right? So who who knows if Aaron Rodgers doesn't say to himself, you know, they've done nothing to listen to me to make this team better. It's kind of the same thing that Brett Favre went through before he left. Maybe I don't want to be here after this year. Maybe I want to go somewhere else that's going to give me more say in personnel and do more to help me build this roster. But I think if we get a renegotiation here or an extension or whatever is going to happen with the contract, I think that's going to tell us a lot about Aaron Rodgers' future, how long he's going to be in Green Bay, what the Packers think of him and what he thinks of of Green Bay, Mike. But I could very well see Aaron Rodgers saying, you know what, this is is not a situation where I can win a Super Bowl. I'm going to go. I'm going to try to go somewhere else after the, this year and, and win me a Super Bowl. What we really have forgotten about Aaron Rodgers with Deshaun Watson and Russell Wilson and all the other turmoil and questions that emerged from the fact that Tom Brady was able to go to a new team and win a Super Bowl in his first try. But these are fair concerns. And Rodgers... He's not going to like this, but it's not like he's watching anyway. If you are, hello, Aaron. Welcome in. And uh, <laughs> we, we, we actually we actually want what's best for you, even though you may disagree with that. But what what he wants is to never be the villain. He witnessed what happened in Green Bay when Brett Favre, who the Packers no longer wanted. The Packers didn't want him anymore. And even then, he was the villain by forcing his way out and ultimately landing with the Vikings. So I think Aaron Rodgers likes to be able to send messages likes to be able to be a little passive aggressive, likes to be able to say, I'm not doing anything. I'm not saying anything to agitate or politic or do anything other than show up and play. And he's very, very sensitive, I believe, to the perception that he's in some way the bad guy. So it's not easy to work this out when you're unwilling to take the risk of being perceived as the bad guy. Russell Wilson, willing to be perceived as the bad guy. Deshaun Watson, before the stuff of the last week, willing to be perceived as the bad guy, now is perceived as the bad guy, whether he is willing to or not. Rodgers, I think, has been obsessed with trying to thread this needle where he gets what he wants, he sends the messages he wants to send, and there's never any fingerprints from him that that could reasonably be detected, suggesting that he's being unreasonable, selfish, greedy, anything like that. And I say all that, fully supportive of the idea that he should get more, that he should be upset. Every Packers fan should be upset about the Jordan Love draft pick. Every Packers fan should be upset that they packaged a four and a one to move up a few spots to get Jordan Love. They all should be upset. What those guys could have done to help that team get to the Super Bowl and win it this year, we'll never know because they didn't do it. So uh, yeah, Aaron Rodgers should be upset. And this final contract will have plenty of clues as to how his attitude may or may not have influenced the team to, to,
to configure his deal in a way that makes him happier. And I've said all along, Mike, if he didn't have the MVP season that he had, I think there was a really good chance that the Packers were ready to move on from Aaron Rodgers after last season. So now this offseason, I think they probably would have traded him somewhere else, but he came out and had the MVP season. He's still playing at an MVP level. So at this point, you can't let him go. He He's the best quarterback in the NFL. He was last season. He won the MVP award. So you stick with Aaron Rodgers another year, but both sides seemingly to me want that out after next year. But as you said, we're going to find out how this negotiation goes down and what happens. I think it'll give us the clue as to what the future of Aaron Rodgers is in Green Bay. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.